everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to Friday night's episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And if you are watching this premiere on this Friday night, know that we are not here with you. Yes. And Sarah and Mina and Kathleen and I, us, yeah. we're all going to be at the Fluid Art Experience. So yeah. although this is still a premiere, Please, please, please chat to each other because we know that you will anyway. And uh, we'll see you back on the actual channel on Sunday, probably for yeah. a live. But this episode is going to be a really fun one. Yes. We've been asked a few times, like, what's the difference between a flip cup and a grenade? And we always say, well, not a lot. It's just about how the paint gets onto the canvas. Either you flipping it or the paint coming out underneath from the grenade because yeah. of the air pressure. So we wanted to do an episode where we showcase those two techniques. Yes. I'm gonna do the flip cup. Yes. And you're gonna do? Paint grenade. Exactly. So we're using the same colors that you just saw in the previous episode. Uh -huh. Really beautiful Amsterdam colors. And we've thrown in some mix to every single one of them. Yes. So you're gonna get some really wonderful transparency across these paints. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm excited to show you like the differences between a flip and a lip and a paint grenade. Yeah. Um, please remember that the Leaky Cup is still for sale at www.massyartstudio.com. There will be a point in the next four or five weeks where we're gonna to have to close down shipping for Christmas. But um, for now, we've still got plenty of them and we're printing them every day. Yes. Um, Without much further ado, let's do this. Let's get to the table. Guys, if you're here chatting in the premiere, we miss you and we'll definitely see you back on Sunday. But everyone, please sit back and enjoy these fun pours. Let's get to the table. All right, ladles and jelly spoons, and welcome to the table. This is going to be a fun one because I, I do think that the, even though we're going to do similar techniques, we'll end up getting different results. Yeah. Or will we? This is the experiment today. <laughs> so let me talk you through my setup. I've got a 16 by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas here. Yes. One and a half inches deep. It has been pinned. It has been backed and it's also been sprayed with water. What that does is gives you that drum like nice tautness. So the composition isn't going to puddle in the middle of this canvas. Exactly. Thank you show pony does all the prep. Now let me talk you through the colors. So we've got the greenish blue by Amsterdam. We've got turquoise blue by Amsterdam. We've got Amsterdam's permanent red violet. We've got Amsterdam's olive green deep. Then we have Arteza's pearl glacier blue. Ooh, love it. Love. We've also got deco art metallics 24 karat gold, a staple here. You see this pretty much in every single pour. Right. We've got Amsterdam's white which I threw away the carton rod by accident because I just threw that one away because it's finished. And then I've also got Amsterdam White and just Liquitex Basics White mixed up here together because this is going to form my base coat. You mean Amsterdam Pearl White? Amsterdam Pearl White. Yes. And Liquitex Basics White, white yes. mixed in that pot. Now, everything is mixed here with a little bit of mix. This is Mix Pour. You can get this from Krista Rasmussen at Krista. 8974 at gmail.com. I'm sure I'm saying your last name wrong. I apologize. Um, but it's great as a pouring medium. It's an alternative for flow troll. You can lose it with flow, use it with flow troll, however you see fit. But it's usually nice and thick and gives you a really great transparent consistency, which is a really fun kind of element to both the flip cup and the grenade, which the show pony and I are doing. Right. So first things first, because we want our paints to glide across this canvas, I'm going to get a base coat of this white on top of this canvas. So let me get to doing that first. All right, so I've got this wonderful white base coat down on my canvas. This is going to allow the colors to slip and slide as I flip them out of this cup. Now, as we heard, Show Pony's going to do a grenade, and I'm not going to do a grenade. I'm just going to do a regular old flip. And Show Pony, are you going to dirty layer or are you going to layer layer? I'm going to dirty layer. So I will layer layer my cup. And I'm going to just do it right here for you guys so that you can see it. Um, first off, I'm going to put some white in my cup and now I'm going to just layer the colors on top 
So here's some of that delicious dark green with some beautiful glacier blue. This one here is the stunning permanent red violet. I love that colour. I do too. Let's put some gold in. Not too much, because she takes over. Lovely dark deep, beautiful greenish blue. I love that colour. I know. The light delicious blue. A little bit more pearl on top. And then we're done. So this is my flip cup of every single one of those colors yeah. and a little bit of white. Now we're gonna take this cup and we're gonna flip this one straight on top of this canvas. Are you ready, show pony? I'm ready. Good flip. Thank you. Let's not allow this one to move just for a second. So, what I'm going to do is make sure that all the colors that were at the top of this pot and now travel all the way down to the bottom so that we get them on the canvas. I'd normally sit here and leave this a good three or four minutes, but these paints are a little thinner than normal. Yeah. So I don't feel it's gonna be necessary. I'm going to lift this pot up and I am going to lip it, whereas okay. the show pony won't. So let's do this. All right, I have one flipped and lipped canvas. It looks really good. I'm gonna to torch this off real quick. Now, she's already started to travel off the edge of the canvas, so I better get to this pretty quickly. Yeah. What time is it? It's tilting time. It absolutely is tilting time. Let's do this.
So there you have it, folks. It's like, for me, it's like a lava kind of stream underwater. It's got a very underwater feel to it, and I like all the red. It could be coral, even. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. What Mix does with your paint consistency or with your paints is it makes them super translucent. And I can see every single color popping up from underneath each other here. The gold is starting to come through and even as it's sitting, it's kind of just selling, um, which is really wonderful. I like it. Um, so I'm going to scrape, scrape the edges of this one and I'm going to take you guys in for a close up. And that was my layered cup with a flip and a lip. Up next, it's Show Pony's Dirty Paw Grenade. guys it's Jeremy here I'm super excited about this you just saw Lee like doing his layered flip cup mm -hmm. I'm gonna be doing my dirty pour grenade uh -huh. my, my flip grenade dirty pour <laughs> or a dirty pour grenade. grenade yeah you're not doing a flip <laughs> That's right. I'm not doing a flip. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you can just keep saying words. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my cup here. I got my right. pen in it. I'm really excited. Um, let me go ahead and get to layering. dirty pouring. And dirty pouring. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a 16 by 16 inch canvas. Same yeah. as mine. Same as same as Lee's. Um, okay, so. Okay guys, so I just dirty poured my cup. I'm gonna put this to the side mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas. Here, may I pass you your paint, sir? Sure, sir. You're welcome, sir. All right, guys, got my cup here. Let's go ahead and flip this onto the canvas. Let's do it. Ooh. The strength of 10 men, you almost went through that canvas. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to be, I think with that green and those two dark, that dark blue, I think this is a very under the water palette to me for some reason. I think it's going to be. I think yours be. is going to look like that too. Yeah. I like it. Not that I don't like it. I just All think right. it's going to be very. I'm ready good. to pull the pen. Oh, so, oh excuse me yes. for talking. <laughs> Please carry on, sir. Five, four, three, two, one. So the show pony is desperate to lip this one, but in a I bit know. to show you the two different ways that you can use the flip cups with a grenade or just a potential flip, we're not gonna. Nope. No, sir. Nope. 
I'm gonna stretch this one out though. What time is it? That. It is tilting time. It's flip cup tilting time. Love can be a ship, a ship, a ship Love can be a stone, a stone, a stone Love can be a sailor, a sailor, a sailor Taking me to shore, to shore, to shore Love can be a dream, a dream, a dream Love can be a game, a game, a game Love can keep you real, so real, so real Or driving you insane It's my creation Playing creates, nothing's too safe Playing creates Oh, it's my creation Playing creates, nothing's too safe Playing creates Well, it's my creation Playing It's my creation Nothing's too safe Playing creates Well, it's my creation Nothing's too safe Playing creates Oh, it's my creation Nothing's too safe Playing creates It's my creation Life can be a kite, a kite, a kite Life can be a string, a string, a string Lifting me up high, up high To sing, to sing Lights of red and green Of red and green Color in the scene The scene, the scene Metal, wood and fire and fire and Alright guys, so I love what's happening here But I was challenged to do another cup Is it a hashtag bonus it's round? It's a hashtag bonus <laughs> round So uh, what happened was I layered this cup with just one round of each of each color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip this cup right here onto this canvas oh and, my and see what happens. So this is your pearl white base again and this is yes. every single color just once into the pot. Yes. Oh man. Oh that man. Terrible flip right there. No, that wasn't terrible. I, I kind of liked it. But we didn't do a grenade though on it. Well, here's your pin and then you can still grenade it. All right, ready? It's bonus round tilting time. Bonus round tilting time. Fire bringing me this tune. Well, it's my creation. guys i am loving this way more good oh my gosh i just love all this i love that i left a little bit of the other painting right here because mm -hmm. i love the way that this right here this gold and and red and like uh, it just backs up to it right i love that i'm loving this pink that came out here in the center and like yeah i love this i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna get my edges Spring and take you guys in for a close-up
So there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> what did you think, Show Pony? Okay. Now, now you did two for the price of one. I did two for the price of one. Because I challenged you on you your did. ball. You did. Right. Um, I really liked the competition of the first one. Right. Uh, but I really got curious whenever you challenged me to that second cup, like mm -hmm. what would happen. So. Um, so yeah, so I did that with the second cup and I loved it. I loved the way that it came out. I did too. Look, I gotta be honest, I didn't love your first pour. <laughs> you didn't? I didn't. It was just very blue. There wasn't really a lot to it for me. It was very subtle. When you, when you stood in front of it, you could see these rivers of green, these big kind of boulder cells, but, yeah. but it actually really was not a great composition as far as I was concerned. I know. He's very, very picky. I was very critical <laughs> of his piece. It's a challenge to do something again on top of it. But I love that you kept that corner. I did too. Really yeah. cool. Um, I liked my piece. It looked like lava underwater. Yeah. But it wasn't my favorite flip and lip of, of mm. mine that I've done. I believe, and you said this, yes. that the paints were too thin. Yes. We'd use them for the Dutch pour and thicken them using mix, but they weren't thick enough. Yeah. And thicker paints with the flips and the lips and the grenades are better. Is always better to help yeah. them keep their kind of comp you know, their consistency yeah. keep, so they don't go too muddy. Yeah. Um, and blend too much. But I, I liked what happened with mine. I liked what happened with But yours it was too. definitely not my favourite. We always say this on the channel, however, this is a journey. We will not just show you fantastic pieces of art, we'll just show you all sorts of stuff so yeah. that you can learn from our journey too. Exactly. So trip, tip and trick for you is if you're gonna do flip and lips or paint grenades, keep that paint a little thicker. We would normally do 50% flow troll, 25% gloss but, medium, 25% yeah, paint. paint. Yeah. Whereas these have a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah, another thing is that we got a comment the other day uh, said that we, it looked like we used a lot of paint. Mm. Well, what's interesting is is that it's mainly Floetrol yeah. and Gloss Medium. Mm -hmm. The paint that we actually use is just a little bit of paint, 25% paint. Right. It's not a whole lot. We're not wasting a whole lot of paint whenever we do paint. It just looks that way. Right. Yeah. And a gallon of Floetrol is 15 bucks. Exactly. So you're not even wasting a lot of money with this kind of type of fluid art. Yeah. You're absolutely right. In those cups, there was one and a half ounces of each color. Yeah. And, you know, we were getting the, the huge, big, yeah. you know, Amsterdam paints. It's probably less than a dollar or two for each of those colors. Yeah. Not a lot of color, not a lot of waste, really. The only big waste is the flow trial, but that's yeah. 15 bucks for a gallon. So, yeah. you, you, you guys can make your own mind up. We like taking big risks for big rewards. Yeah, exactly. So, we will do things a little crazily, but um, you, <laughs> you do what's right for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being on this premiere. Even though we aren't here with you, we promise to go back and watch it and watch it with the live chat replay as exactly. well. I know that the patrons that are not at the Fluid Art Experience will have been entertaining you on our behalf. So thank <laughs> you to everyone. Yes. Probably Steve and Janice and everyone else. Thank you guys. And um, we'll see you on Sunday for a live. Absolutely. And I'm fairly confident that Mina Villegas will be doing a live from the Massey Art Garage. I know. As well. So some fun stuff coming up this weekend for you. Yes. All right, guys, have a great Friday night. Have a fantastic weekend. And uh, we'll see you back here on Sunday. All right. All right, guys, see you very soon. Bye. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> spank some very special people. Larry's. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. 
And so, with a change of venue... What? I know. <laughs> we've got some very special people that we have to thank. Yes. And that is our gold Massey Posse. That's Trisha West, Jane Klein, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, it's Nate Bright, it's Linda Serien, Crafty Chicken Mom, it's Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrilli, it's Tammy Houldsbrook, it's Kelly Stowell, and it's Gillian Barnett. Now with the platinum level, it's Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Donna Panis, Dana Foxley, Elaine Burton, Susan Shepperson, and Robin Koza. And you all know her, we all love her. At the diamond <laughs> level, there's only one person, yes. and that is Sparkles. Sparkles. So to you guys and to everyone else that, whose names that you'll see here listed below, thank you so very much. We yes. absolutely love that you're here with us on this journey, and we're gonna keep pouring. Yes. Thank you guys. Bye guys. <laughs>